Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss one important aspect of electrophilic aromatic substitution, the tendency for some benzene substituents to activate the ring towards further substitution. Recall that the structure of benzene is a six-membered carbon ring that we formally write as a series of alternating single and double bonds, but we know from resonance theory and from experimental evidence such as the crystal structure of benzene that every single one of the carbon-carbon bonds in carbon has an identical length intermediate between a single and a double bond. Each of the carbon-hydrogen lengths are equal as well. Therefore, we can think of the structure of benzene as a regular hexagon. As a consequence, when we have just benzene itself, each of the carbons is identical and each of the hydrogens are identical to each other. So, if we replace any of them by electrophilic aromatic substitution, it doesn't make a difference. Each one reacts exactly the same as the other, so long as we start with the parent compound benzene. Suppose we replace one of the hydrogens of the benzene ring by an amide group here, NH2. This gives the compound commonly known as aniline. A result of this is that the six carbons of the ring are no longer exactly equal, and the hydrogens are also all not entirely equal as a result of adding a single substituent to the benzene ring. Hydrogen atoms that are attached to the next carbon over, either to the right or to the left, of the carbon that holds the substituent are said to be the ortho position. So either the hydrogens that are here or any substituents that might replace them are said to be ortho to the first substituent. And as a mnemonic, we've written them here in orange to remind us the O of orange for the O of ortho. The two ortho positions in orange are exactly equivalent to each other and therefore indistinguishable. If we look at the positions that are one, two carbons over from our substituent, either to the clockwise or the anti-clockwise side, then we end up with the so-called meta positions. And we've written here in brown, um, which is the color of mud, which is the only uh, word that has a close mnemonic for meta. So think of M for mud, and we've written the hydrogens here, the meta hydrogens in the color of mud, which is brown. The final position, which is three carbons around the ring, away from the carbon holding the substituent, we have the so-called para position. And we've written here in purple because para begins with a P and purple begins with a P. So notice that the para position is different than the meta positions, which are both equal to each other, and different from the ortho positions, which are also equal to each other. The NH2 group belongs to a class of substituents that has two primary effects. The first effect is to make it more likely that the ring will sub be substituted in a electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. After this is already present, then would be the case in the unsubstituted parent compound benzene. So our reference point is always relative to the reactivity of benzene itself. So 
if we have the NH2 group already on the ring, it makes further substitution of the remaining hydrogen atoms more likely to happen more quickly with a lower energy of activation than would be the case for a replacement of the same hydrogen in benzene. And it makes the ring more reactive at any particular particular position than would be the case at benzene. Now the second consequence of this class of substituents, which we call ring activators, is that they primarily enhance the reactivity the most at the ortho and the para positions. Now they activate the ring at every single position, but they do this especially greatly at the ortho, the orange, and the para, purple, positions. And because they enhance the reactivity at the ring even more at the ortho and para positions than at meta, effectively they tend to steer the substituent that directed overwhelmingly to the ortho and para positions because those reactions take place much more quickly. In this video, we are going to be looking always at exactly the same substitution reaction, which will be substitution of one of the ring hydrogens by the methyl carbocation. And here we see an intermediate of addition of the methyl carbocation at the ortho position of aniline. And we're going to gauge the reactivity of each substituted or unsubstituted ring by the difference in energy between this particular complex, which we call a Meisenheiser complex, and the initial uh, substituted or unsubstituted ring before uh, attack of the methyl carbocation. So this is a typical reaction that takes place in the friedel craft alkylation. So in every case, we're going to be alkylating the ring with a methyl group at each of the various positions for each of the various uh, substituted benzenes that we're going to discuss in this particular video. And in this video, we are restricting our attention to those substituents that activate the ring. So please see the following figures which show computed structures for the uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution of this methyl carbocation onto the various different ring positions of aniline. And a thing to notice is when comparing the values in the following tables to those for benzene, that when we have a negative value, because we're always going to be looking at the enthalpies of reaction relative to benzene. So benzene will always itself be zero. If we have a negative number, that means that the reaction takes place more quickly, more thermodynamically favored than the equivalent case in benzene. When we have a positive number, that will mean that it's less likely to occur. And the greater the negative value, the more likely the reaction is to take place. The more positive the value, the less likely that the reaction is to take place. And as a reminder again, our value of zero is the reference case for the reactivity at any of the positions of benzene. Here we have our second ring activating substituent, the methoxy group. So that gives us methoxybenzene, which is commonly known as anisole. One thing to point out is even though this is a methyl group as part of the substituent, this is not the methyl group that will substitute for the various hydrogens of the ring later on. So just to point out that that might be a source of confusion. 
So again, the methoxy group activates the ring towards further substitution, and the substitutions that we're going to look at at the ortho, meta, and para positions are the additions of a methyl group. So please see the following figures, which show the computed structures and parameters for those structures uh, in the substitution of anisole by the methyl carbocation. Our third ring activating substituent is the hydroxy group, OH. When added to a benzene ring, we call the resulting compound phenol. Please see the following figures, which show the computed structures for phenol and the various intermediates for the electrophilic aromatic substitution of the methyl carbocation for the various ring hydrogens of phenol. Our fourth and final ring activating substituent is the methyl group. So this is a methyl group that has already been attached to the ring. We call this particular compound toluene, which is an incredibly important solvent in the laboratory and is also an effective additive to gasoline to increase its octane rating. Since the methyl group is an activating group, ironically, it actually makes it easier for another methyl group to enter the ring at one of the other positions by electrophilic aromatic substitution. And it does this most effectively at the ortho and the para positions. When we add a second methyl group to benzene, we get a group of compounds which are called xylenes. Xylenes, like toluene, have an important industrial usage in that they are additives to gasoline, which increase its octane rating. Please see the following structures of the computed reactants, products, and intermediates for the electrophilic aromatic substitution of toluene. Please see again following two tables which show the computed energies of activation for the intermediates, the Meisenheiser complexes, for the electrophilic aromatic substitution of methyl carbocation to either benzene or to a benzene that is monosubstituted with a ring activator ortho power director. I thank you again very much for your kind attention. I hope you will like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.